So, does this scenario ring a bell? It's work time. Whether that's a hard session of studying or getting that report done on time before Chuck. We'll get you this time, Chuck. Today, you brewed some sexy cinematic slow-mo coffee that Peter McKinnon will be proud of, and you actually managed to get to sleep on time, getting like a solid eight hours. Mercury is in retrograde, and that fortune cookie from last night's cheeky takeaway predicted that this was going to be your day. You can feel the energy bubbling up and you're ready to smash today. You know a little bit about productivity and your preferred method of working is the Pomodoro method. So you set the timer and you get to work. An hour or so into work, you begin yawning and feeling sluggish. You decide to power through and double down on your efforts. After a short lull and to your surprise, you get a second wind and find yourself engaged in a flow state in deep work. But eventually, there it is again, that sluggishness. And the day continues like this, undulating between periods of sluggishness and bouts of energized productivity. For the longest time, this was my situation. I would think I needed better sleep hygiene, to exercise more, to eat better, drink more water. And whilst these were certainly great practices for feeling more energized, and certainly would be at the top of my list of daily prescriptions for someone lacking energy, you know, when I used to be a doctor that <laughs> prescribed things, I don't do that anymore. Uh, we, we don't do that. <laughs> In my case, it was more an issue of fighting my own biology. And unfortunately, that's a fight that you'll just never win. In particular, the thing I was fighting against was my ultradian rhythm. So stick around, we'll discuss what ultradian rhythms are, why they're so useful as a productivity tool, and how we can hack them to boost our own energy and focus. What's up peeps, my name is Michael. I'm a junior doctor training as a radiologist in London in the UK, and this is my YouTube channel where I share ideas and perspectives that have added value to my life in the hopes that they can add value to yours too. So, what are ultradian rhythms? Well, check this out. We all know about circadian rhythms, 24-hour internal clocks which regulate our body's ecosystems in regards to day and night. Less appreciated by people, however, are our ultradian rhythms, where our circadian rhythms repeat every 24 hours, ultradian rhythms cycle every 1 to 24 hours. The concept was pioneered by Nathaniel Kleitman, who, apart from being a bit of a mad lad <laughs> that experimented on himself and attempted to adapt to a 28-hour day living in a pitch-black cave, he also pioneered sleep science and first described the concept of the Basic Rest Activity Cycle, or BRAC for short. The idea behind Kleitman's BRAC is that we cycle through periods of activity and rest. When we break down the BRAC cycle wavelength, what we find is that there's a rising peak of activity, which then dips down and then turns into a, a dip, a valley of rest. The peak of activity lasts around 90 to 110 minutes, and the valley of rest lasts around 10 to 20 minutes. There's variation between people. As such, BRACs are ultradian in nature. And so whilst BRACs is the technical term, um, Ultradian sounds more like something a productivity guru would say, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> the most famous Ultradian rhythm that everyone in their mum knows about at this point is the REM and NREM sleep cycle, which we know is responsible for dreams, restoration, and those weird jerky movements that you occasionally make in your sleep. What less people know is that actually many of these Ultradian rhythms operate during the day to modulate our alertness and our focus. And whilst the research varies a bit, the cycles related to alertness similarly appear to repeat every 90 to 120 minutes, just like sleep. And this isn't only observed in the lab, but has been correlated into real life practice with one particularly big study demonstrating how elite performers, including musicians, chess players, athletes, all shared this common practice of bursts of hard work and focus for roughly 90 minutes, followed by a resting phase and then repeating this cycle. Coming full circle back to my story at the beginning of this video then, the lulls I was experiencing were actually lulls in my own ultradian cycle. And this explains my attempts to you know, grind my way through were both painful and often fruitless. Whilst modern day work culture is geared towards arduous, unbroken hours of work, short or non-existent breaks, and non-stop output, the laboratory and the practice of real world top performers tells us that actually the key to productivity is to live more like a sprinter, focus then rest, focus then rest. So fine, I understand what all trading rhythms are and I understand how they could offer a lot of benefit, but how do I go about figuring out what you know, what my rhythm is, how long it is, like how long my rest should be, you know, all this. Well, I'm glad you asked me. It's relatively straightforward. I'll explain now. Number one, 
For the next week, we're going to track and score out of 10 our focus and energy for every hour of a productive working day. This is the bare minimum. However, if you really want to expand it and see exactly what your energy levels are like and exactly what your rhythm is like and how it changes through the day, then you can actually track this throughout the entire week, basically every hour of the day that you're awake. Number two, we're going to be building up our work capacity throughout this time. So you can continue using the Pomodoro technique if you like, but ultimately we'd like to try to build up to roughly 60 to 90 minutes of uninterrupted deep focus split by 10 to 20 minutes of rest. We then bring it all together using our logs and our internalized you know, experience of working throughout the week to figure out exactly how long can we work for effectively before needing a break and how long of a break we need to properly recharge and get get out of that rest part of the ultradian rhythm. And if we do all this properly, then we'll actually be able to establish our own ultradian rhythm with you know, a period of activity, a period of rest, and which parts of the day that we're most effective and least effective. The reason why I think it's so important to understand and utilize your own ultradian rhythm is that we're then working with our biology rather than working against it. I especially prefer it to something like the simple Pomodoro method because well, for one thing, there's no concrete evidence to say that the Pomodoro method actually works. 25 minutes for me feels a bit too short of a, of a work period and often I feel like it's interrupting me when I'm just getting into a flow state and getting into deep work. And actually five minutes as a rest break is, is really quite short. I don't really feel like I can replenish myself properly between working you know, blocks. The great thing about the Ultradium framework is that Number one, we work with our biology, not against it. Number two, it aligns very nicely with, you know, good blocks of work. So in the morning, I can fit in two full cycles of maybe 110 to 120 minutes, have my lunch, and then I can fit in another two cycles before the end of the day. So it kind of perfectly fits into the nine to five standard working day. And number three is that it allows for customization and self-optimization so that it's attuned to your personal needs and it's not a kind of one size fits all cookie cutter thing. So there you go. That's my quick and dirty how-to on ultradian rhythms, what they are, why they're important, and how to use them to your advantage. Ultimately, I think too often we're focused on how to work for longer and harder. Hold on, pause. When really we should be focused on how to work smarter and in more sustained bouts of deep focus. Understanding your personal quirks and your need for rest is absolutely crucial. I know we glorify, you know, 25 hour work days and 10 hours study with me videos. But what Ultradian Rhythms teach us is that deep and effective work is not a marathon, but actually a sprint. Run, then rest, run, then rest, and keep repeating this. Give it a try, and you may be surprised at how much more effective you are than just trying to, you know, power through an entire day of work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think your own Ultradian Rhythm is, and feel free to leave any questions or comments down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm just about entering the, uh, the rest phase of my cycle, so I'm going to go have a break. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.